Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Kailisha, and today I'm gonna show you guys how I touch up my relaxers. I get so many questions on the process. I get questions on Fiber Went Natural, all the questions I'm gonna answer today. So for the relaxer I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the Motions Classic Formula Hair Relaxer, and I picked these up from Sally's. These are around $11 Canadian, and I did section my hair last night so before i begin i'm just going to apply my gloves i'm going to add some of this uh, nourishing oil just to my roots so i'm just applying some conditioner i'm just applying the aussie miracle waves conditioner usually i will apply the low hydration by her blessings but i don't have any on hand so i'm just going to use this one and i make sure to really focus it on my ends and i find that when i apply conditioner to my hair before my relaxer it just makes my hair feel a lot softer and not as stripped a lot of people want to know how often I relax my hair and if I've ever gone natural. I relax my hair every six to eight weeks. My hair is extremely coarse. And now that I'm working out, I notice like my hair starts to, it could be relaxed at four weeks. But what I've started doing is just uh, retouching my nape and my edges because the hair at my nape grows in very coarse, if you know, you know. It just helps me to stretch out my la relaxers a bit longer. To answer your question, have I ever, did I go natural? Around 2010 when um, a lot of the ladies were starting to go natural and I contemplated it and I remember like speaking to my mom and my mom used to do hair back in the day. And I asked my mom and she told me how thick my hair was, explained to me how my natural hair texture was because I did start getting my hair relaxed when I was six years, six or seven, but I didn't get my hair relaxed often when I was a kid, like maybe twice a year. So, but my hair was not long either. Like my hair probably grew to like my shoulders because now we all know about this whole moisture, your hair lacking moisture. When I was growing up, there was this myth really that water dries your hair out and if you wash your hair too much it's going to dry out but no one was talking about moisturizing your hair after you wash it. My hair texture is like my father's. My parents are both black. My dad's mother was mixed with black and native Mi'kmaq Indian. My hair, like I remember how her hair was when I was growing up because my mom used to cut her hair and her hair was just, it was probably like a 4A, I'd say. Maybe a 4B. She just used to put Vaseline on her hair. But other questions I get are, have I tried to stretch my relaxers? Yes, I have tried to stretch my relaxers. I do not like stretching my relaxers. I've been doing my own hair now for 12 years. I started um, just really paying attention to what was going on on YouTube back then. And because a lot of the ladies were going natural, I kind of started to incorporate a lot of those tips and tricks they were using on my relaxed hair. Some of them worked, but some of them didn't. I don't know, it was trial and error. I'm just gonna use some Vaseline now to go around the frame on my face and my ears. Back then, nobody was go had relaxed hair really on YouTube. I would use can too, but my hair really didn't like can too products. So I don't know, it was just a lot of trial and error. And I was, and then when I was moved to Calgary because I found a really good hairstylist there that did specialize with natural hair, but they really discouraged me. She was like, your hair is gonna take so long to do. And yes, it would have taken so long to do. I'm not mad at her for talking me out of it because I think I probably would have regretted it. I do have low porosity hair and I do part my hair in small sections. I don't do the nape until I'm completely done. Detangling my hair the night before really helps. Also with the uh, process of applying the relaxers, I just move in small sections like this. 
and the reason I started doing my own hair was it started to get way too expensive because I had a little baby. So it was getting too expensive and also I did not like how I was being treated at the hair salon because when people see me, the first thing they think is I am next. I would feel very discriminated against when I went into hair salons or I noticed like they would try to just do like shady shit to my hair. They would try to sell me weird stuff that they knew wasn't for my hair texture, but they would still try to sell it to me. Um, so eventually I just stopped going there and I just started doing research, how to relax my hair, why is my hair dry? Just, there was so much on the internet, on YouTube back then because it was this whole hair movement. So that's when I, and back then too, I also had a pixie cut. So I was like trying to figure out how to deal with relaxed hair, keep it moisturized and also grow in a pixie cut. So I cut all my hair off in 2010, I think it was. And if you've had a pixie cut and you try to grow it out, you know how much of a pain it is. And the reason I apply the conditioner is because it just kind of, in case I get, which I'm most likely going to get relaxed on my hair, it stops it from like processing on my hair. Or that's what, yeah. So that's just what I do. Just protects my hair if I get any relaxer on it. And I will apply the relaxer on the bottom and also the top. You're probably thinking, oh, but your hair doesn't really look like it needs to be relaxed. I do stretch my hair really well when I blow dry it. So I apply a scarf to my hair and I will sit underneath my hooded dryer for probably two hours, maybe two and a half hours. And my hair will dry pretty straight. I wash my hair every five, every five to like seven days. I do work out daily. That's something I've started doing in the new year. I get my hair trimmed every three months. I used to stretch my trims every four months, but my ends were getting really split and breaking. So I switched it to um, once every three months. So I'm just gonna speed up this process. So now I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna smooth my roots. Before I wouldn't do this and it does make make your hair very under processed if you do not smooth out your roots. I just part my hair with my finger this time in little sections being very gentle and I just smooth it through. Do this quickly so that way I can go and rinse out my hair. Since it does take me maybe 20 minutes or so to apply all the relaxer, by the time I'm done smoothing it through, it is time to rinse it out. I'm gonna just show you guys like the weeks to come. So I'm gonna show you what I do post one week relaxer, two weeks, post two weeks relaxer, that type of thing. Just so you guys get like a better understanding of how I maintain the length of my hair.
and what my days and weeks look like. This is starting to tingle a little bit. I do like push the relaxer down and really like smooth it through. And if you guys have any tips and tricks for me, let me know down below what you do on your relaxer days or how you, maybe even how you stretch your relaxers. I don't know how to braid my own hair, which doesn't help. I find like a lot of the ladies, when they do start to stretch their relaxers, they do put their hair in a protective style, but I don't like wigs and I do not know how to braid my own hair other than like two braids in the front. I can braid my kids hair kind of, but not my own. Notice I didn't put any relaxer yet on my edges or the nape of my neck. And I'm gonna wait a few minutes and then I'm gonna apply it there because this I did maybe three and a half weeks ago just to kind of help me stretch my relaxer to, I believe I'm at seven and a half weeks post relaxer. I just waited a few minutes, maybe a minute or two, and now I'm just gonna apply the relaxer to my knee. So I'm gonna pin my hair up. So I'm gonna go rinse this out and I'm gonna use the Silk Elements Neutralizing Shampoo. I'm done. I, all I did was rinse my hair really good with cool water. I'm going to apply this Neutralizing Shampoo. But I'm gonna let this sit in my hair for like five minutes just to kind of eat away at any of the relaxer residue. And I find this really helps with just making my hair feel very soft and not so stripped. And then I'm just gonna pin it up and wait five minutes. And then I'm gonna do this three times. I'm done with the neutralizing, rinsing with the neutralizing shampoo. Now I'm gonna add this Bond L'Oreal Repair uh, shampoo. And then for the conditioner, I'm gonna mix the conditioner with um, a deep conditioner. I'm gonna set underneath the hood a dryer for about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna let this sit on my hair for maybe 10 minutes or so. This really helps um, repair the bonds. There's one that comes in a pink packaging and that I'll post on the screen. And that's the one I usually use, but I picked this one up a little while ago. I forgot I had it. I'm gonna use this one today. I've rinsed out the Bond Repair Shampoo now. I know it does take a long time for me to like do the whole process just for rinsing out the relaxer. It's about 45 minutes or so because I do let it sit in my hair, the shampoos and stuff. Oh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add uh, this TIG, TGIN um, Miracle Deep Hydrating deep conditioner and I'm gonna mix it with the bond repair. I'm gonna brush it through that way when I get in the shower there will not be any tangles. Since I do flip my hair over in the sink when I'm rinsing out the relaxer, I that's when you would get the tangles because but I don't want relaxer dripping down my back in the shower, so that's why I do it this way. I'm gonna add about that much conditioner to about this much of the TGI, and I'm wearing gloves because I don't want to get this on my hands just because, I don't know, I'm tired of washing my hands, my hands being wet. And I'm just gonna smooth this through. I'm trying to detangle my hair. Taking my time because your hair is its weakest right now. Say you gotta work from three to nine. Oh, I get you home by a decent time. Wait, go bed, you can sleep in mine. Yeah.
Let's make it happen, girl. I need some time. Speaking of time, who stopped it? That's the feeling that I get when we lock up. I got the weed at the crib. I'm gonna add a little bit more on my ends. Coat the lid. and I'm gonna go study the dryer for, I don't know, a little bit. I will be back when I'm all done and show you guys how my hair looks. So I'm done deep conditioning my hair and my hair feels very soft. I'm just gonna part my hair in sections to apply my leave-in products. I did say I was gonna take a break from Olaplex, but I think I'm only gonna start using Olaplex after I relax my hair for a little bit. First, I'm gonna go in with the Strengthening Hair Serum. I picked this up from Sephora. The VIB sale will be coming up soon, and these are usually around 30% off. So I'm just gonna apply this to my scalp. And this has biotin in it. And I'm gonna apply some of my Olaplex number nine. And I'm gonna apply some of this, um, the Dew Texture Tamer. And I picked this up a while ago from Marshalls and it was on sale for $9. See, my hair is super detangled. Add some of this, the dew um, mist, just one little squirt. And I'm just gonna add this to the ends of my hair. And I am gonna be getting my hair trimmed this week. So I'm just gonna apply my scarf, my hair in a ponytail, so all my hair can dry as flat as possible. And this is how I dry my hair every time. So I put my hair in a ponytail just so everything is nice and flat. And then I'm gonna take out the ponytail. And dry my hair under the hooded dryer, leaving these nice and flat. So I'll be back a little bit later today because we have some errands we're gonna go run and I will see you guys in a little bit. This is my hair uh, two days post relaxer. I am currently in the process of recording like a post relaxer video, how I maintain the softness, the healthiness of my hair. I am just getting out of the shower. I just got back from the gym, but this is what my hair looks like after two days of relaxing. It's soft, it doesn't feel hard, it feels moisturized. This morning for products, before I went to the gym, I just added some of this Pantene Curl Cream, some of this, the Dew Mist, and I added some of the Biotin Strengthening Hair Serum from Sephora. I'm not gonna redo my hair. I'm just gonna put it in a braid and throw in a hat. And this is how I wear my hair to the gym too, but um, I'm just kind of in a rush because Simone is going out with my friend. To meet her friend. But anywho, so that's all I do. And like I said, I'm just gonna put on a hat. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs>